Clap, clap, clap. Hey, everyone. <laughs> How are you? Are you okay? Yeah. Survived the heat? Yeah. All fed? Okay. All right. What is going on here and why is this not working? Nope. It is not. Okay. Let's try it again. You know what to say. I know what to say. I need slides. Sorry. Can I have somebody from the tech team? Oh, there you go. Okay. So I, actually, this is all I wanted to ask. So how did it go? Was it okay? I don't know about you guys, but it went so fast for me. I, I, I don't know. Uh, it was just like I was opening this conference yesterday. I don't know, it seems so. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you all for being here for closing remarks. Uh, I want to start with the thank yous, uh, and I'm going to thank our sponsors first. So please, please, please join me in saying a huge thank you to our administrator, super admin sponsors, Jetpack. Thank you. Y'all, yes, thank you so much. And Les, you are in amazing. You made this conference happen. Big, big round of applause for our admin sponsors. WooCommerce, Flywheel, Radix, Kukuri, Sidelock, Pantheon, and FlexCDB. Thank you. Our after party sponsors, SiteGround and Hover. The good part is coming up later, so thank you. We had so many companies support us this year. We had more companies support us this year than any other year. We also had a more than 150 micro sponsors. That was incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, how did WordCamp Europe go this year? Um, final stats, we had almost 1,900 people on the ground from 2,200 people that bought tickets, which is still incredible. It is really amazing. Um, we also streamed, don't have stats for live streaming yet, but there were more than uh, 1,000 tickets bought for live streaming and so many people that tweeted they were watching live. And uh, it is so amazing to have this audience. It is really, we are really honored as the organizers that all of you uh, are attending and we have your attention for today's. We had some amazing accessibility features uh, this year. Our amazing partners from Global Real-Time Captioning, let's give them a round of applause. They made the event. Most of you, most of you didn't see them, but uh, across the square in the Baroque Suites, we had the childcare room where there were more than 10, uh, even like 15 kids during the two days of the conference. I hope parents among you will be more keen to bring their kids to our Camp Europe next year. So I'd like to thank our partners that made that possible as well. Thank you. Who here went to warm-up events? Who went to warm-up events? Only a few, oh no, that's quite a bit of hands. Okay, I want to say thank you to the volunteers that organized the warm-up events. Those were very, very nice for everyone that went. Thank you. <laughs> so,
So every year WordCamp Europe is in a new exciting location. It's the adventure, you know? The quest of organizing a WordCamp of this scale and a new place every year, it's exciting for both attendees and organizers, I have to say. So Vienna was amazing. Where are we going in 2017? You care to guess? Yeah? The ones that know, <laughs> do not guess. <laughs> All right. After WordCamp Europe 2013 in Leiden and WordCamp Europe 2014 in Sofia, the incredibly hot WordCamp Europe 2015 in Seville, <laughs> and the even hotter WordCamp Europe 2016 in Vienna, of all places, where are we going next year? Back in the fall. <laughs> Back in the fall of 2015, we opened up the application process, and uh, we opened up the application process for uh, 2017, and we got three applications. They were all great applications. Every year, it gets harder harder to choose the host city because each community, each WordPress community deserves to host WordCamp Europe. We want to <laughs> organize WordCamp Europe in every European city that has a Europe, uh, an active community. However, for now, it can only be at one place per year. <laughs> so it makes me very, very happy to announce that WordCamp Europe 2017 going to be in Paris. This is, uh, gives me like very, very great pleasure to uh, invite on stage the lead organizer of the next WordCamp Europe, and that's Paolo Belcastro. Thank you. And these lovely ladies. <laughs> Ms. Jenny Beaumont will be our lead organizer on the ground. Uh, congratulations to her and her team for an amazing, amazing application. You're not mic'd up, but uh, are you? <laughs> hello, good afternoon. No? Yes? yes? Hi. Uh, so, Paris, 2017. June, one week earlier because it's colder. <laughs> <laughs> and because this work camp grows and grows and grows and there's of course a lot of work to do to get there. We have to start earlier and earlier and we can say grab your ticket today <laughs> at this address. <laughs> and we open up a batch of 2,000 tickets for all the people who came here, you can have yours. And if you want to do that later, there will be more. It's going to be bigger. <laughs> Thank you, Paolo. All right. Uh, please stay. <laughs> um, and uh, this is where it's actually happening. How do you pronounce that? Please help me out. <laughs> for practical purposes. For practical purposes, we can just call it the docks. <laughs> All right, 2017 WordCamp Europe is going to be at the docks in yes. Paris. Oui. Yeah, so bring your sailor t-shirts and everything and let's go. <laughs> All right. So this is something that we don't usually share, but it's, I think it's important because the more volunteers that we get each year, the more chances there are for more applications to host WordCamp Europe. And 
it is an open process, a very open process. We'd really like to consider every community. And uh, it is important to explain how we make that decision. Um, there's a lot that we expect from people that apply to host WordCamp Europe. It is not just a wish to have the WordCamp in your city. <laughs> if at, like, there is a line when you want to contribute to WordPress core, it's like patches welcome. Well, we say applications welcome, but they need to be very, very ready. <laughs> Almost uh, like the full extent of the local application, the budget, the venue, everything needs to be prepared when you apply to host WordCamp, when you apply to, uh, apply to host WordCamp Europe. And we also look for these things. We look for a very strong, experienced local team. We look for a very active local community. We match the location uh, and watch if it's uh, affordable for attendees, easy to get to, so you don't have to take 17 flights to get there. Uh, we also watch the preparation and see how the preparation of the budget went. The more full the extended budget that the, the applicant submit, the better. And this is the last one is probably the most important one. WordCamp Europe, the WordCamp Europe organizing team is growing every year, and we want to work with people that we know we can trust, which means that it is high, it's, it's a lot more likely that we'll select the host if the lead organizer has been volunteering at WordCamp Europe for at least a year. That's what's been happening for the last two and a half years, three years, uh, and uh, that is something that is going to continue to happen. So, if you want to organize WordCamp Europe, we're going to, going to have a session about what it takes tomorrow during Contributor Day. So you're welcome. Come and we'll talk to you about it and we'll help you prepare. We will help you prepare your applications as well. We are more than open to work on you. It's not like, <laughs> it's not a bid for like, let's see how they do on their own. We're all in this together. So we're going to make the best, that we're going to do the best we can to help you out uh, and to make our lives harder because then we have to choose from like several excellent applications. The application process for hosting WordCamp Europe 2018 will open on October 1st. And before that, in September, we will open uh, the so-called orientations for everybody that wants to get in touch with us, can do so, and we can discuss in detail how that happens. Enough about this. <laughs> contribute today. Who's coming to contribute today? Whoa. OK, so 500 people have signed up. We have, as, as, as far as I saw last, we had like three open spaces. So it's three open spaces. If you haven't signed up yet, go get them because, you know, after that, polls are closing. Um, we have 200 and more new contributors. That's going to be amazing. We have more than 150 people signed up to contribute to WordPress core. That's going to be challenging for the core team. And. Uh, we have a lot of people signed up for other teams as well. So we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow so we can all make WordPress. But before that, tonight, we're going to be right here at 8.30 for the WordCamp Europe Ball. I want to make something clear. Yes, we are very excited for the people that are going to dress and come like dressed up and everything. They are probably excited too. But that is not a requirement to come, to come to the after party. Please join us for the after party, no matter what you wear. <laughs> There's going to be fun for everyone. And uh, oh, sorry. And we're also going to have a photo contest uh, sponsored by our, by our after party sponsors, Sideground and Hover. And the winner of that photo contest is going to win a GoPro at midnight tonight. So you should definitely go to the photo booth, take a photo. The full extent of the rules of the contest will be published on the website a little bit later. So you'll be able to see them. Also, the first 20 people that enter are going to get a prize as well. So it's definitely worth doing that. I'd like to ask you, after closing remarks are over, let's all get on the square and uh, get a group photo. It's going to be amazing, so many people. Uh, so join us for a group photo after the closing remarks. That said, I'd like to invite on stage the rest of the WordCamp Europe organizing team. I'd like to say, wait, wait, wait. You're going to be announced. 
<laughs> Paolo and Jenny are already on stage. The guy doing the robot talk is part of our amazing Fierce volunteer team. Peter Millen, please join us. Alex, Eva, Letizia, and Luca, our local team, please join us. Our local team carried the heaviest load. Please give them a big round of applause. Emmanuel Blagonich, our amazing communication lead. Come on, come on stage. He wrote the amazing WordCamp Europe articles. You should read them all about the communities. We also have Sara Rosso, who took care of networking events. Welcome. Our speakers team, Luca, Jenny, and Nikolai. Come on, Nikolai. Veselin, who took care of all the swag, your t-shirts. Rocio, our com contributor daily. Thank you so much, Woo. darling. Luis, who took care of live streaming and uh, helped so many people. Thank you, Luis. Our incredible design team, Scott, Sonia, Uri, please come on stage. <laughs> and the tall, big Dutch guy who helped us with everything on the website. Thank you, Remkus. Come on. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our sponsors team, where is no, where is he? Oh, there you go. Where's your t-shirt? <laughs> wow, I didn't see you in green. No, Jenny took care of sponsors. Did I forget now? I guess I'm gonna be fired tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's the shirt, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, this is our organizing team. Uh, but our team is actually 180 people this year. 180 people, 160 volunteers signed up Just to help. For a second. B before moving to all the volunteers, I would like an applause for Petya. <laughs> she has been leading all these people here. Come on, come on, louder. Thank you. Oh, please sit down. I don't want to cry. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to our amazing host. <laughs> uh, Tom Wilmot, are you here, Tom? No? Oh, there he is, come on stage, come on. Ant Miller, where are you? If you're here, come on stage. Miss Sarah Rosso, the amazing Sarah Rosso. <laughs> Miss Anna Silva, Francesca Morano. Where are you? Please come on stage. <laughs> Simon, where are you? Yes. <laughs> and last but not least, the giant who held Leopold Museum for one and a half days. Taco, where are you? Yes. Where are you? <laughs> I would like to say a huge thank you to our speakers. This is this schedule has been insane. It's been insane. I was heartbroken half the conference that I wasn't able to watch talks. Thank you for coming. There were more than 70 speakers at WordCamp Europe. Yeah, is Anna here? 
Oh, she's not here. I called her. <laughs> <laughs> I did not miss her. She's not here. But yes, back to our speakers. <laughs> Jenny and uh, Luca helped us. And uh, I hope that you had a great experience. And I want to thank you for coming and for making WordCamp Europe unforgettable and for giving people so much to take away. Thank you. A lot of people are asking us how much we're going to grow, you know? <laughs> and I can only say this. We are always going to be big enough so that our biggest stage can fit all of our volunteers. Please come on stage. <laughs> Thank you is for you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this the biggest work camp to this day. <laughs> it's been amazing. Thank you for making this happen. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you. Time to say goodbye to Vienna, to this amazing, amazing people, to all of you. And I hope you learned a lot. I hope you made a lot of friends. And uh, we're going to see you first for the after party, and then in Paris. Goodbye.